Today we are going to be taking a look at the 2023 NICO June July examination or the NICO SSC. And uh, today we want to look at the qualitative aspects of the of the practicals. So in this qualitative aspect of the practicals, we are concerned with analyzing the thoughts which we are giving to identify the anaerobes and then the cation that are contained in the salt. The salt we are going to be dealing with is a, a very soluble salt and it's a white salt. Okay, so here we have carefully written out the, some of the tests that will be carried out on the salt in order to identify the anaerobes contained in the salt. Okay, the salt we are given is a sodium carbonate. And here we carefully we have carefully written out the analysis for the carbonate ion. That's the CO32 minus ion. And uh, for the sodium ion, sodium ion cannot be analyzed by uh, using uh, the normal reagents we have in the lab or uh, at this stage. But the only way you can analyze it, maybe in the lab, with the normal reagent we just have in the lab, is maybe by using flame test. So when you heat the sample salt, uh, when you heat it, it will give a characteristic bright yellow uh, light. Okay, you know that that's a sodium salt. Okay, so here we are paying attention more on analyzing the, the anion. That's the negatively charged ion in the in the salt. Okay. So here, for you to report your result very well, you know this is the format. Here you have the number serial number. That's the test you are conducting. Then you have the test. That's the experiment you're doing. Then the observation. What are you seeing as you do the experiment? What's the observations you are making? And then the inference, which is uh, what do you have to say about the observation in which you are making? Okay. So in first test is uh, you bring a sample of salt, and then you add you add water to it. Okay. And then you shake it to try to dissolve it. So if you do that, you will notice that. Uh, the salt will dissolve in the water to give a colorless solution. And the inference will be that the salt is, is, sol is soluble in water. Of course, the salt is perfectly soluble in water. So you see that the salt, the inference will be that salt is soluble in water. Then the second one, as the experiment you have to perform, you bring a portion of the solution which you have made from the salt, and then you add a dilute switch seal, and then you observe what to happen. Then, if you do that, you will notice that uh, there will be effervescence. Okay, effervescence will occur with the evolution of the colorless, odorless gas. And if that happens, then you can support uh, CO2 gas because CO2 gas, that's carbonoxide, is colorless and odorless. So, as CO2 gas is found uh, in these two ions, the CO32 minus ion or the HCO32 minus. Ion. That's the only two ions in which you can find CO2 gas. So that will be your inference that this is a CO2 gas from a CO32 minus ion or CO2 or HCO3 minus ion. Okay, so the, the third experiment you have to perform if you are using this one to check or to confirm whether this is actually CO2 gas is that you bring it from, from this experiment to above as the gas is coming out, then you now you bring a wet piece of paper and put you, know, you put it at, at the mouth of you, where the gas is coming out from. Then you, you observe what will happen, and then you try and bring lime water past the gas coming out to the lime water. So we have a gas from the two above plus a wet piece of paper, and when you pass it through lime water, then you, you notice that it will turn the wet piece of paper red and turn the lime water make it. So if it turns the wet beautiful super red and then you pass it through lime water and then the lime water turns milky, then it is a confirmation that the ion you have the gas is a CO2 gas 
and the CO2 gas is can only you can only have two CO2 gas coming out from CO3 to minus or HCO3 uh, minus ion. So CO2 CO2 gas from CO2 three minus from CO3 minus plus HCO3 minus then we confirmed. Then there are other uh, experiments you can or other um, tests you can carry out on this particular shot. It must not be this three uh, tests. There are other tests you can carry out in the process of identifying which gas or which uh, ion is contained in the sample. And the other, the other test you can just bring your uh, the salt solution and then you add baby chloride. And if you add baby chloride to the solution of the salt, it will form a white precipitate. Okay, and if it forms a white precipitate with a baby chloride, then the ions to suspect is uh, the SO3 2 minus ion, then the CO the CO3 2 minus ion, then the also 4 2 minus ion, or the S 2 minus ion. So you write that SO3 2 minus ion, CO3 2, uh, 2 minus ion, and SO4 2 minus or S2 minus ion is present. So for you to be able to confirm which particular ion is present there, then you bring it the source sample of yes, plus plus very good right plus dilute fish, then you add it a uh, dilute fish seal. First you add in drops, and then you add the SS. You will notice that uh, the precipitate which is formed as you added the baby chloride from that uh, solution of the salt sample, when you add it uh, HCl in SS, you notice that the precipitate will dissolve. And when it dissolves, it's an indication that the ion contained in is uh, CO3 2 minus. Okay, so we can go ahead and confirm that CO3 2 minus is, uh, is what the ion that is present in the solution. That is because uh, it is only the CO3 2 minus that if it is contained in that particular uh, in that particular solution will dissolve in excess of a dilute switch CO. Okay? So another test you can carry, you can carry out to confirm also if the gas is actually CO2 from CO3 to minus. Is that you bring a pure sample, not this time, not the solution, bring a sample, the solid uh, salt, then you add it directly, the adding to HCL, and observe what you have. You notice a very big effervescence, okay, happening. So, effervescence will occur with the evolution of that colorless, colorless gas. And if that happens, then you report that you will confuse the confirmation. That the ion contained there is a CO3 2 minus, and the gas coming out is a CO2 a gas. That's called kind of a oxide gas from a CO3 2 minus, which here, or which CO3 minus. Don't forget, if you are putting this in the exam, don't forget to mention the name of the gas that you observed. Okay? Don't forget, because some people usually make the mistake of a uh, writing of reporting the ion which is present but they will not name the gas which you observed uh, while carrying out the experiment and it is from the gas that you can actually predict that this is the ion that is present uh, in that particular solution so see you on this video